सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनिशाला लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनिशाला क्लास सिक्स हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी सेफ एंड लव्ड माय नेम इज मानसी एंड टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज नोइंग आर नंबर्स in this lesson we will try to estimate large numbers and we will also try to write numbers in two different numeration systems but before we begin make sure you have a notebook a pen a sharpened pencil and an eraser my dear friends in our previous class we have tried to compare different numbers we also tried to form large numbers you know we even reached at lakhs and 10 lakhs it was fun when we tried to make new numbers using the given digits we also tried to expand large numbers using place values that's all we have done so far so today we will see how we can estimate those big numbers suppose if i ask you what is the population of your village how you will say that will you give me an accurate number or you will just say that there are 24000 people or you can say that in my school there are 600 students even though you have never counted each of them so my dear friends this is estimation where we do not give the actual amount while we present an approximate idea of what it can be so these days we use estimation almost every day in our lives so let us go back to preeti and her group and see how they are using estimation one day preeti's teacher distributed their test papers preeti got 73 and sarita got 79 sarita went to ask preeti her marks preeti said my marks are in 80s sarita said my marks are also 80 here they both shared their estimated marks not their actual marks they both were not lying but they estimated do you think both estimated correctly here they both were not lying but they shared their estimated marks now priti went and asked ashraf his marks ashraf said that his marks are in 70 while his actual score was 71 preeti and ashraf both got almost same marks but preeti said her marks are 80 while ashraf said his marks are 70 what do you think is 73 closer to 70 or 80 yes you are right 73 is closer to 70 so preeti marks when estimated will be 70 very good now let us try and estimate more numbers so if we have to estimate 18 how we can do that what do you think is 18 closer to 10 or 20 yes it is very close to 20 so if we have to estimate 18 to its nearest 10 it will be 20 another example If we have to estimate 58 how we can do that what do you think is 58 closer to 50 or 60 yes 58 is closer to 60 so it will be estimated as 60 when we will do it to nearest tens but if we try to estimate 58 to its nearest 100 what do you think it will be closer to 100 or 0 Yes, fifty-eight is more than fifty. So if we have to estimate it or round it off to nearest hundred, it will be hundred. Now, friends, is four hundred ten nearer to four hundred or five hundred? Four hundred ten is closer to four hundred. So four hundred ten will be rounded off to four hundred because it is its nearest hundred. Now, eight hundred and eighty-nine. lies between 800 and 
but 889 is nearer to 900. But if we have to round off 889 to its nearest 10, it will be 890. So you see, what is the difference? 889, if we have to round it off to nearest 10, it will be 890. 890. But what will happen if we have to round it off to nearest 1000? What do you think? Is 889 closer to 1000 or 0? Yes, you are right. 889 is closer to 1000. So it will be rounded off as 1000. When? When we have to do it to nearest 1000. So we can generalize that numbers 1 to 49 are closer to 0 than 200. So if we have a number, suppose 849, but if we have a number which is more than 50, it will be rounded off to hundreds. So numbers from 51 to 99 are closer to 100 than to 0. Therefore, they are rounded off to 100. Now let us see another example. Let us assume that we have a number 779. We have to round it off to nearest 100. How we can do that? Let us see. 779. At its 10th place is 7, which is more than 5. So, to round it off to its nearest 100, it will be more than 750. It will be 800. So, now 779 can be rounded off to 800. Yes. You all are learning very quickly. Now let us practice some more questions. Let us first try to round off all the numbers to its nearest 10. I will give you the numbers and you will write round it off to nearest 10. So the first question is 737. How do you think we can round it off? 737, what do you think? Will it be closer to 740 or 730? Yes, 737 is closer to 740. So, our answer will be 740. Another example is 998. How do you think we can do that? Is 998 closer to 1000? Now, let us see another question. 998. We have to round it off to its nearest 10. How do you think we can do that? At its 10th place, it's 9. It looks difficult. 998 is very close to 1000. So, our answer will be 1000 even if we try to round it off to its nearest 10. Let us see another example, 314. How do you think we can do that? We have to round it off to its nearest 10. 314 is closer to 300. 10 or 320 yes you are thinking correctly 314 is closer to 310 so our answer will be 310 very good now let us try to round off numbers to its nearest hundred the first question is 730 how do you think we can do that 730 is nearer to 700 or 800 730 is closer to 700 yes why because it is less than 750 but if this number has been 785 it would have been 800 even if the number would have been 751 it would have been rounded off to its nearest hundred as 800 another example is 998 how do you think we can do that? How we can round it off to its nearest 100? Our answer will be again 1000. Why? Because 998 is closer to 1000. Another example is 314. Yeah, that's very easy. 314 is smaller than 350. So it will be rounded off to its nearest 100 as 300. So now we have practiced enough 
about estimation and how we can estimate large numbers. So whenever you will be asked how many runs your favorite cricketer scored, you can easily tell that he has scored 33,000 numbers, even though he would have scored 33,575. Now you can easily estimate numbers to its tens, hundreds and thousands. Now my dear friends, let us try to estimate the sum or difference of two numbers. So, the first question is, let us try to estimate the sum of 19 and 63. So, let us first try to round it off to nearest tens. If we have to round off 19 to its nearest 10, it will be 20, yes. And if we have to round off 63 to its nearest 10, it will be 60. So yes, if you are asked to calculate the sum of 19 and 63, but you want to give an estimate how you will do that. You can try to estimate 19 to its nearest 10, which will be 20 and 63 as 60. So our answer will be an estimated answer that will be 80. Now you have used estimation without using pen and paper. So let us try to do it mentally. How you will calculate 182 and 85? So if you have to round off 85, you will not round it off to its nearest 10. Why? Because 182 is a three digit number and we will round it off to its nearest 100. So 82 will be rounded off as 100 and 182 will be rounded off as 200 so our answer will be 300 let us try to estimate the sum of 5673 and 436 to begin with we will round off to thousands why because we have a number 5673 to round it off it will be 6000 why? Because 5,673 is more than 5,500. So, our answer will be 6,000. Now, we have to round off 436. If we have to round off 436, it will be rounded off to 0. Why? Because 436 cannot be rounded off to thousands, since it is lesser than 500. Therefore, it will be 0. So, 6000 plus 0 will give us 6000. So, if we have to give the sum of 5673 and 436, it will be approximately 6000. But this does not look as a reasonable estimate. Why? Because you can very well say that 5673 if we add 436 will be more than 6000 so how we can do that to get a closer estimate let us try rounding each number to hundreds so if we have to round off 5673 it will be 5700 why because 673 is more than 500 therefore 5,673 will be 5,700 and if we have to round off 436, it will be 400. Why? Because 436 is closer to 400 than 500. Now, we have to write their sum. So, we will add 5,700 with 400. Our answer will be yes. You are right. 6,100. See, it is more than 6,000. While when we round it off to nearest 1,000, our answer was shown as 6,000. So we can see, if we round off to its nearest number, our answer is more meaningful. Now, my dear friends, we have learned how to estimate large numbers and we have also learned how to estimate the sum of two large numbers. Now, you can all tell me how many people are there in Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. If you know their estimated population, you can tell me the total of them. Yes, 
Now you can do that very easily. Now my dear friends, I would like to share something. My friend who is my neighbor purchased a new home which costed him 30 lakhs. But my friends, do you know if we go outside and tell this amount, we will say it as 3 million. Do you know why we say it differently here or why we can say it differently there? Why? Because we have two different numeration system. An Indian numeration system and an international numeration system. In Indian numeration system, if we start from right, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs and crore. But an international numeration system, if we start from right, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions and hundred millions. Let us read 593426 according to Indian numeration system. Here we have six digits which can be arranged at ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place and lakhs place. So we can read 593426 as 5,93,426. But if we arrange these digits according to international numeration system, we will have digits at ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So we will say 593426 as 593,426. Now, if we have to read large numbers, we don't count each digit one by one. Like, if you are given 593,426, how did you tell me that it has six digits? You will not count each digit. You will write commas so that we can count it easily and also we can represent how to read those numbers. So, if we have to write 1 crore, we will write 1 and 7 zeros. That is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. That is 1 and 7 zeros. This will be our 1 crore. And how we will mark commas? We will mark comma first after 3 zeros from right. That will represent thousands. Then after 2 zeros. That will represent lakhs and then again after two zero to represent crores. But in international system, commas are marked after thousands and millions. The first comma comes after three digits from right that mark thousands. Then after three digits, another comma comes to mark millions. Let us try to understand this with an example. So let us write. 7859248 I repeat let us write 7859248 In Indian numeration system we will mark comma first after three digits that will be after two to mark thousands so our first comma will be after two 7859248 our next comma will be after 5 to mark lakhs. So, 7, 8, 5, comma, 9, 2, comma, 4, 8, 1. Our next comma will come after 7 to mark crore. So, it will be 7, comma, 8, 5, comma, 9, 2, comma, 4, 8, 1. It will be read as 7 crores. 85 lakhs 92,481. While if we have to write this number in international numeration system, we will mark first comma after 2 to mark thousands, then the next comma will come after 8 to mark millions. So the number will be 78 millions 592,000. 481. 
Yes. So that's how we write commas in a number and that's how we represent numbers in Indian and international numeration system. Let us practice some more. So let us write our first number. We will write first in Indian numeration system and then in international numeration system. So listen to the number carefully. Write down 7892109 I repeat 7892109 When we have to write it in Indian numeration system how we will mark commas we will mark commas first after three digits from right that will be after one then after two digits that will be after nine to mark thousands and then to mark lakhs it will come again after two digits that will come after 7. So, to write it in Indian numeration system, we will write comma first after 3 digit that will be after 1 to mark thousands. Then after 2 digits after 9 to mark lakhs and then again after 2 digits to mark crores. So, this number will be read as 7 crores, 89 lakhs, 21,000 and 92. I repeat, this number will be read as 7 crores, 89 lakhs, 21,092. Very good. So, now we will try to write the same number in international numeration system. Let me repeat the number 7892109.2. So, to mark commas, first we will write commas after 3 digits from the right. That will be after 1 to mark thousands. Then another comma will come after 3 digits to mark millions. That will come after 8. So the number will be 78,921,092. I repeat the number will be 78,921,092. Let us see another example. Please write down the digits very carefully. 8546283. I repeat 8546283. So, to write it in Indian numeration system, we will mark commas first after three digits from the right, that will be after six, to mark thousands. Then another comma will come after two digits, that will come after five, to mark lakhs. So, the number will be 85,46,283. I repeat, the number will be 85,46,283. So, to write this number in international numeration system, we will mark commas first after three digits from the right, that will come after six to mark thousands. Then another comma will come after three digits to mark millions. So the number will be 8,546,283. So friends, let us first read these numbers in Indian and international numeration system so that we can see how different they are. So in international numeration system, a number is read as 8 million. 546,283 while the same number in Indian numeration system will be read as 85,46,283. So if we see another example, let us write the digits 9990046. I repeat 9990046. So, to write this number in Indian numeration system, first let us write commas. So, a first comma will come after three digits from the right, that will be after second zero. And a next comma will come after two digits, that will be after nine. And the last comma will come to mark crores, which will be after nine, first nine of the number. So, the number will be read as nine crores, 99 lakhs, and 46 but 
the same number in international numeration system will be read as 99 million 900 thousands and 46. So my dear friends, let us practice some more so that we can be very good in this. So I will give you few questions. Do remember to practice them at home. Please write the numbers very carefully. So our first question is 9998510 I repeat, our first question for homework is 9998510. Our second question is 4804-9831. I repeat, 4804-9831. Do remember to practice this at home so that we can very well write the numbers in both the numeration system. So, my dear friends, Keep practicing this question. I will come back with a new lesson. Until then, keep practicing and stay safe. Bye. Friends, you were just listening to the series Dhwani Shala. Production Assistant Amit Kumar. This series Dhwani Shala was recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo. Produced by Ajit Horo. And this program is brought to you by CIET NCERT. New Delhi, India.